Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2019 Panini XR Football. Pick your team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all these folks right here for rallying around this one on a Friday. For making it happen. Trevor Jacobs, last spot mojo, Washington Redskins. Good luck to him and good luck to everybody. So apparently today's the day where everyone go, went to Area 51 and people are... It hasn't been millions of people, but people have been going there, and now they're getting arrested and whatnot. William L. is saying that it looks like they're just doing a f music festival there. Air Force saying, uh, no, he has been there. And he says, no, no treasure there. That's what you want us, that's what you guys want us to believe. That's what the government wants us to believe, man. That's what the G-men want us to believe. So you can just keep the treasure for yourself, man. Yeah, then where's all the gold, man? <laughs> Fort Knox? Come on, man. Those are just lies, man. Lies. We just, the American public has been fooled for too long, Air Force. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to uh, title this video, Area 51 Exposed, and watch this be the most watched video in Jaspi history. I'll guarantee you it would be. Area 51 exposed. Air Force 46270 tells all. Out of 249 and out of 149. And there's Darius Geis. If only he would stay healthy. 6 out of 25 for Trevor Jacobs' last spot mojo. On the board early. Is the 50 auto over 30,000 views? Wait till, wait till Area 51 Secrets Exposed video comes out. Ooh. That'll blow that 50 autograph book out of the water. It's uh, Nikhil Harry, by the way, for the Patriots, Brian Plant. Extreme Rookies, Justice Hill. And we'll sleeve and top load all these numbered cards before they go out, of course. And Triple Relic and Autograph, no offense. Broncos, Stephen K on the board with the Coes. Oh, Dave Roberts just got tossed. That's good, he's showing some fire. Let's pump that team up. Air Force is like, have a, have a good night. Have aliens to feed. Secrets exposed. We heard the truth. Oh. It's TJ Watt. Here are some numbered cards here. And TJ Watt will go to Michael Gluge and the Steelers. Turn down for Watt, 2 out of 10. Rex is asking, do you think Antonio Brown's officially done? Yes, for now. A, even if he doesn't end up on the commissioner exempt list, you know, like, who's going to give him a shot? Who wants to get that locker room disrupted like that? Miles Sanders goes to the Eagles. That'll be for Derek Hamilton. Who's going to give, give him any kind of money to play football? And then even if, he, even if a team does pick him up, he might be thrown right on the commissioner exempt list. So then he's there wasting time. 
So why bother? Rams want him? Why did the Rams want him? It's Deontay Johnson. That is a stealer for Michael Gallucci. Yeah, I mean, if the Patriots let him go, exactly. I mean, that's the one organization that would be able to maybe rein in someone like Antonio Brown. But if if they're going to let him go, I mean, what team can what other team could absorb that kind of distraction? There really isn't. Why would the Rams want that? That'd just be. I think it's because of the allegation. I mean, I think it just got to be too much. I think it was allegations, Big Rig. I think it was like, hey, here are some allegations. Here are some more allegations. There was a Sports Illustrated story that came out on Monday, and it turns out that he was uh, tweeting or, or texting like his lawyer and the accused. They were all in a group text or something weird like that, and there were some threats that were made, some not-so-veiled threats, and like, you know – you're kind of threatening a witness in the middle of an investigation kind of thing. That's not good. You know, and there's just mounting legal issues. And I think Belichick was just like, I don't want to, I don't want to answer 10 Antonio Brown questions every week. We're on Cincinnati <laughs> is what he wants. What he wants. He doesn't want to talk to me in the first place. Luminous endorsements, six out of 10. Cowboys, Juan Pena with that one. And we got Miko Hardman for the Chiefs, John Harshbarger. Well, today, well, today you can be fired for any allegation if it's not. Well, I think a lot of times it does end up being true. So then you don't want to be left holding the bag when it turns out that that person really did do all that stuff. How many like corporations and CEOs were like, you know, were protected only to find out that they were actually breaking the law, which most of the time they are. JGR Siegel Whiteside. So that goes to the Eagles, Eric Hamilton. So that's, so I think I think now companies are just being more proactive and saying we'll just get rid of you early. If you're innocent, we can rehire you, <laughs> right? If Antonio Brown's completely innocent. He can get rehired. Still a free man. You know he's not in jail. So yeah, maybe you lose your job, but you're not in jail. You get a trial. This is America. You know. Right after this, Jack, however long, how, how long does this break take? I, I guesstimated, uh, maybe not, maybe 30 more minutes. I'm running a little late behind. Maybe a little bit after 9.15, around there. Maybe 10 or 15 minutes after that. But soon, right after this, after this box or this break. There's no offense to 49. That's for the Broncos. That's for Stephen K. Out of 149, Justice Hill for the Ravens. That'll be for Nico. Juan Thornhill and Nick Foles to 199. And we got Easton Stick. Triple relic and autograph. Nice. 100 out of 199. For the Chargers, Sean Corbett.
But yeah, too much drama for Antonio Brown. Stephen K is right. That's the same with Kaepernick. And Kaepernick's a far less talented football player. I mean, and I'm not even talking, like, I don't really care about what he did or didn't do. People are asking, well, why doesn't Kaepernick get a chance? He's not a very good football player. That's the first and foremost. You know? And second, just way too much drama for a backup quarterback. Why do you think, why do you think Tebow doesn't have a job? He's, playing, he's trying to play baseball right now. A lot of drama that follow, not a lot, of, but a lot of undue attention following a backup QB in Team Tebow. And Tim Tebow's not a very good quarterback. <laughs> and I think people, people don't realize that most professional football teams don't care, <laughs> a lot of times don't care what you do if you can throw a football really far or really fast. <laughs> You know what I mean? A lot of questionable people who are still who still have jobs. So I'll bet if <laughs> if Kaepernick or Tim Tebow were that good, they'd still have jobs. It's Daryl Henderson jersey and autograph. The thing with Antonio Brown is that that's how you know that how bad his personal situation is. That much talent and people and a team lets him go. <coughs> Daryl Henderson for Daniel and the Rams. Antonio Brown's new Ray Rice? Maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. Could be. Except there's, guess there's just no video of it. Luminous endorsements. Miles Sanders, 99. Tebow's more interested in his wife than football. Remember how, remember how they, uh, how they uh, saved him until marriage, which is a lie. Out of 49. Kaepernick European was not, was forget he was paid to do a job, not become a, right. I agree. I mean, it's a free country. Free, I, I've, I think freedom of speech is one of the greatest things that our nation provides. But you gotta still have you gotta you gotta have more self awareness about what your platform is. And, and Kaepernick got it in his head that he was maybe more influential than he really was. Uh, yeah, I I think I saw a picture of her. Tim Tebow's wife. It's pretty easy on the eyes. Yeah, South African model, former beauty, crowned Miss Universe in 2017. What is Tim? What is Tim Tebow? Doesn't even play. They did not save it before marriage, until marriage. Guarantee you that. There's Drew Sample to 199. Patrick Stout. And we've got Miles Boykin to 75. I did. She all right. She she's all right. LJ Collar, Eli Manning, and my boy Hunter Renfro, jersey and autograph, twenty six out of forty nine. She seems nice.
I think in a vacuum, we probably all have a shot at that, but I think the, the, the struggle is the opportunity. Where do you meet a woman like that? Like Tim Tebow's wife. You guys think, think about this? I'm sure you guys are good looking, charming gentlemen out there. You know? But it's like the opportunity of like, when are you going to get five minutes to sit down and talk to this person? DK Metcalf, Derrick Henry. So well, in a vacuum, we would die. I'm just saying, like, you know, if we all had, give me, give me ten minutes. Triple relic and autograph. I can wear a jersey. Big rib. Out of ninety nine. Yeah, maybe she is. Probably. Nikhil Harry, triple relic and autograph for Brian Plant. Christian Wilkins, Leonard Fournette. And we got Quadri Allison to 199. There's Benny Snell Jr., 1199. Pull out the Tesla, find a gold digger. I guess. I don't know. That's why I keep the Tesla just in the garage, in the hangar at Santa Monica Airport. With the other cars. Just try to keep low key, you know? And keep the cars at, at the hangar, you know? And every once in a while, let's take it out for a spin. I guess not, William. We're not Duke's some rose material. That's classic. Missed my chance. Maybe that could, that could have been my ticket to start him. Marquise Brown and Deshaun Watson. Oh yeah, you got you got the email of the thing being sent, the one on one being sent. Nice, nice squid. Congrats again. There's DK Metcalf, triple relic and autograph, seventy three hundred ninety nine. William L. The boss man thinks that there there could be potential for a some sort of reality television show to happen here. That was that was that idea was thrown around. Everyone's getting a television show these days, right? I mean, this is a television show, but there's Damian Harris, Chandler Jones, but like we're like we're a television show, but it seems like Amazon's giving away shows, Netflix is giving away shows, a lot of streaming services. Double O two out of one eleven, Dexter Williams for the Packers. That's for uh, Chris Masters, and we got Justice Hill, Triple Relic seventy five. It's the new way, absolutely. Sergeant's good. So, why can't we get a show? Let's get Netflix to to to. We we, we got to talk this out. Make it come. No, I mean, I want I want like Netflix to buy, like to buy like. To build a set for us, we don't have we don't have build a set money right now. You know we want we want them to like sponsor the show. So essentially, buy the show, stream us on Netflix. Now imagine this: what if, what if all of the breaks that we and we need got it. We have to be better about this. But what if you're like looking for. Like you're archiving, right? You're like, oh, I want to watch Joe. What what did a 2016 NT baseball look like? Right? You go to Netflix. You pull up Jaspi's case breaks, right? And you scroll through it. Jaspi's case breaks. You scroll off to the side and you click under the seasons, and it's like, oh, 2016 NT. Well, click that. And there's all the breaks. You can watch it like a television show. You can binge 2016 NT baseball. 
How cool would that be? Joe, what did 2014 Topps Triple Threads football look like when Topps allowed the football license? I'd like to see that. I'd be like, yeah. Just go go to Netflix. Go to the Jaspi Case Break channel on Netflix. Just scroll down to the season. You'll find it. And then you could binge all the all the shows. And then millions. And then streaming money. B? I don't remember a B. Benny? Benny? Oh, Benny Snell Jr. I forgot that he was a redemption. Pittsburgh Steelers. Michael Gallucci with that one. Yeah, there'll be lots of bugging for the camera. Benny Snell Jr. Right, the show would be about shipping miss out. Hey, it's your fault. Where'd the one of one Jeter go? We gotta get it back. That's when Joe and Nick have to go on the road and find the Derek Jeter one of one that was misshipped and get it back to its rightful owner. This is the next episode of JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. There's Dylan Mitchell to 199. And then 28 out of 49 team trios. Carry on Johnson, Matt Stafford, DJ Hawkinson. What are the cards numbered out of? I think they can be numbered anywhere from, I don't know. They're kind of high numbers on this set. But they can be numbered out of pretty much everything. Uh, Jacob, I'm breaking until 10 o'clock LA time. We're booked for the night, I'm afraid. We've got uh, XR that we're doing currently. Premiere is going to happen after I do this and this box right here. And then five-star baseball after that. And that should bring us pretty much to the end of the night. I think I could do it. I think I could write a show about group breaking and about, you know, all the, all the people that come to the card shop and just weird collectors we've met over the years and cause we're, we're a quirky bunch. People that enjoy this sort of stuff, right? Not a lot of characters. We got Nikhil Harry, two out of 30 for the Pats. That's going to be for Brian Plant. Got Jamal Adams to 249. We've got Miles Boykin to 199. Yeah, we can, I feel like, I feel like this is going to be another tab on our spreadsheet. We have the Bazooka Joe movie, and now the Jaspi Case Break TV show, but scripted, scripted comedy, dramedy. Duke Johnson, 6 out of 25, Jersey and Auto for the Browns. That'll be for John C. And you manufacture drama. Out of 75, Nick Bosa, Triple Relic. Right. Yeah, we'll just manufacture drama. What are we going to do with Immaculate Basketball being delayed? We've got, we've got bills to pay. we got the power bill, the water bill, the internet bill. We needed that Immaculate Basketball money. How are we going to buy Flawless now? Like a stressed out accountant just pulling at his hair. What are we going to do? The books don't add up. I think someone's been stealing. Hey, guys, 
We're short on a Bowman HTA box today. What? You know where that where that flawless case goes? Where'd that go? There was a case of flawless collegiate football right here when I left yesterday, and now it's not here, and we didn't break it online. <laughs> oh, we, we can make a good show. We can make a good reality show. There's uh, Debo Samuel to 99. Julio to 249. Mike Weber to 199. And then, wow, our second one of one in a row. Pick your team three. This is not manufactured drama, ladies and gentlemen. This is real. In pick your team three, we pulled a one of one Dwayne Haskins. Wait, I've got it. i got a picture of it. All right, so no funny biz. My hands are it. So yesterday, that, right? Today, this. Wow. See, this is good job, Trevor Jacob. Scared money don't make money. A lot of people would have hesitated. They would have been like, "Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna take the Redskins." We'll look at what Joe pulled last night from break three. That's pretty cool. That must be like a, a, a glove, right? Piece of the glove or something like that? Piece of the jersey? That's pretty awesome. No, different people. So Trevor Jacobs, I think you might be a little new here. We hit the train whistle on out of fives and under. That's a one of one. Trevor, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That's nice. Well, that fires me up too. Here we are just cruising along through this break, having a good time. When this happens, a wild Dwayne Haskins has appeared. It's Trevor. You are welcome, man. Well, it's, this is not a, not a cheap team either, so it took a little bit of, uh, a little bit of gumption to do that. Yeah, coming up next week, you won't believe what Joe pulled out of XR Picker Team Four. That'll be for the that'll be for the TV show. On the next episode of Jaspies. Sony Michelle and Minshew, Minshew to two forty nine, Sony Michelle to one ninety nine. Our market research shows John Harshbarger that the uh, that the kids love the train whistle. Fourteen out of twenty-five. Carry on, Johnson. <laughs> As Jaspies turns, guiding Jaspies, General Jaspies. Welcome to General Guiding. As the Jaspies turns, Carry on, Johnson to uh, twenty-five goes to the Lions. That'll be for Chad Schaefer, and we got Debo. Triple Relic to 99. 32 out of 99 for the Niners. John G. That. All right. Four boxes to go. There might be another train. Usually our XR cases have, have had multiple train whistles. It's got to be an out of five in here somewhere. There's Yate Johnson, 25. We've got Quadralis into 249 and Demarcus Lawrence, 99. 
Devin Singletary, triple relic and autograph, 13 out of 75 for the Bills. David Duffy with Buffalo. Derwin Thompson, 99, and Deshaun Watson, 199. And we got Jarrett Stidham, 9 out of 25, Luminous Norris. You want to see an episode of Behind the Scenes where we have a meeting trying to figure out that 50 auto book that Harsh Bar has? That would not be, that would not be good for the brand, though, Rex. Stealing would not be good for the brand. Come on, Rex. Rex, not a producer on the show anymore. Jarrett Stidham goes to the Patriots, Brian Plant, and this uh, Terry McLaurin to 25 will go to uh, Trevor Redskins. Someday, Dwayne Haskins will be throwing that guy a lot of passes. Oh, show merchandise will be huge, William. Got to do show merchandise. I want to have a ton of sponsorships too. Like I'll like during one of the episodes, I'll be like, I'll be cracking open a bottle of Poland Spring water. Just uh, just have like Coca Cola T-shirts. Like I'll I'll have like a I'll have like SeatGeek.com tattooed right here. It's Miles Sanders to one forty nine to two forty nine and to one ninety nine Fletcher Cox Justice Hill. And we've got Devin Singletary, two out of twenty five, three color patch and autograph. Buffalo, David Duffy. You would buy keychains? Keychains we would like give away, right? We can't make you buy a keychain, Brett. <laughs> All the money you spend here, we can give away keychains. Like we'd probably sell, if we sold any merch, we'd try to give away as much merch as possible. I looked into pricing out train whistles those we may I would might have to sell for money, but Justice Hill to one ninety nine, Phil Lindsay to two forty nine. Nice Khalil Mack autograph. You don't see a lot of Khalil Mack autos. Eleven out of fifteen for the Bears, Sergio. But keychains, I feel like we can make pretty cheap and toss them into your orders or something like that. Out of twenty five, I think I don't know. We haven't had that discussion yet. <laughs> We're just trying to get the, the store set up first. Get people walking in the door. And then we'll worry about what we're going to do with merch. Alright, two to go. Jacob Ice Dream. Same time, seven nights a week. Two to ten, LA time. Every night. It's like a TV show. A long a long eight-hour TV show. Every night. You miss, a, you miss a night, you just come back the next night. Go on vacation, you come back, we're here. 2 to 10 LA time. 5 to 1 East Coast time. Seven nights a week. I guess unless there's like holidays, I guess. I'm not breaking Christmas. But we'll announce all of our scheduling around those holidays. At 249, Antoine Wesley, and Dalvin Cook to 99. So I'll be back tomorrow at 2. And there it is. 
I said, I, I said there's got to be another train whistle in here. There it is. Gary Jennings Jr. Four color patch and autograph for the Seahawks. Chase Tucker with the Hawks. Hawks of the Sea. One out of five. There you go. <clears throat> Chase Tucker. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! That was a good one. Harrison Smith to 199. Will Greer to 99. Josh Allen, that's an autograph. One out of 15. Buffalo! David Duffy. Nice. Buffalo Gold. And more. Bu Buffalo! That's another train whistle. Two out of five. Three color big old patch for Devin Singletary. That looks nice. Damn nice. I apologize for, for cursing, folks. But it's damn nice. I like a, the, the, the red, white, and blue with the green on the background there. It's sharp, right? It's pretty sharp. David Duffy. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And the last box coming up. Good luck. Can't believe we pulled another one of one Dwayne Haskins. It's wild. That is wild. You won't believe what we pulled in this break. Clickbait. Oh, nice. AJ Pollock, three run home run. Thanks, AJ Pollock. What's, what's the shame, Rex? Is that Greg Jennings' little brother? I almost, I want to say I want to say Greg Jennings every time. All right. Last thing. Michael Hardman to one forty nine. We got Quadri Allison to two forty nine. And out of 249, Leighton Vanderish. I left you out of the Bowman Pick Your Team 7 break credit? That's a lie. Are you serious? Come on, Joe. Unbelievable. I did. Did. How did I do that? I skipped. Okay. I'll fix it. There's Caleb Wilson to 199. Yeah, that's what it was, Rick. I missed other names too, actually, Eric. How did I do that? Caleb Wilson goes to Chris Hansen. I just I skipped to a couple other names too. There's a, there we go, Caleb McGarry to 99 for the Falcons, Chris Hansen. There's Chris Lindstrom 
and Kenyon Drake to 199 each. And last one here, Team Trios, 51 out of 99 for the Fly Eagles Fly. Derek Hamilton with the Eagles. And there you have it, folks. Thanks, everyone. Do I have to do anything for this break? I don't, right? Just forgetting things. All right, there you go. Just, just getting old, I guess. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye-bye.